All right, y'all, so we're back for Jujutsu Kaisen chapter 219. And so last week, last chapter was fucking crazy. Sukuna beat the fuck out of Yorozu with like four or five different type of animals. All of them were a part of Megumi's technique. He just kept fucking releasing animals and beating the fuck out of Yorozu. And so let's get straight into it. I don't know if this is going to be a continuation of the fight. I assume it is. We're in Bath part four. All right. Today is the harvest ritual. Why invite a monster like that? Oh, he and era a ritual. He and era. Okay, so we're in a he and era ritual. So this has to be a fucking flashback. Why invite a monster like that? If only it ended there. Why are we praying to Sukuna for a plentiful harvest? The celestial squad, the five void generals. Have we already forgotten? That he was the one who sliced these elite Fujiwara clan subjugation units into pieces? It can be helped. It can't be helped. We need to clearly show that we harbor no ill will and want to maintain an amicable and peaceful relationship. Damn, bro. He killed your guys' people and you guys are out here in a ritual trying to pray for his fucking sins. Hell no, bro. If y'all think that this man is going to become any sort of saint dude sakuna is going to be a devil for the rest of his life you guys can pray 24 7 he's going to still fucking murder people all these prayers are going to go for nothing all right come to think of it there was that bumpkin from aizu who was appointed to this very capital even after she showed herself to be just as bad a, bar a barbarian my goodness what is becoming of our cap of our peaceful capital Yorozu sama okay so we're still in a flashback we got younger Yorozu Yorozu sama enough of your barking what is it today is the harvest ritual oh shit and we just see Yorozu belly down with her cheeks just in the air and her feet in the air she's just fucking living her life naked huh I don't mind if the clothes are informal but for the love of God please wear something <laughs> if you don't I'll be disciplined by the palace ladies again. You get that from me every single day. Thought you'd be used to it, says Yorozu. <laughs> but if it's a festival, they probably have those deep fried karaku doman. Damn, so she don't give a fuck about the religion, the festival, or nothing. She just wants to get the deep fried karaku doman, whatever the hell that is. Haven't had that in ages. The harvest ritual is not that type of event. So this is probably like her assistant or something that's always trying to look out for her and shit. Like her PR. Alright, Yorozu sama. No, Sakuna used to be ugly as fuck. He used to be more buff though. Because of course he took on he took on Yuji's body. But damn, this motherfucker is ugly. And we got Urame in the background. And you see fucking Yorozu, of course, with their cheeks just flapping everywhere, butt butt naked. Alright. What on earth are they all doing? Why can't they understand? And then she goes in for a hug. Bro, she's crazy, bro. The fact that she has this much attraction towards Sukuna, especially back then. Like, Sukuna now, okay, yeah, he looks good now because he took on Yuji's body and even Megumi, both of them handsome. But damn, pure Sukuna is ugly as fuck. This bitch has horrible taste. It'll be all right, I'm here. You are not alone. Damn, and Rame pushes her ass back. Stand back, you lackey. <laughs> How about you take your own advice? Says Yorozu. From today onwards, I'll be the one standing by his side. And I'll be the one to ease his lonesome heart. Oh shit, she has a cutter. Is that from Rame? Yorozu sama. Wait, who's yelling that? Who's your someone oh I think that was her assistant yelling Yorozu sama. Like I thought. What a heart-wrenching cut. I want it all to myself. Your solitude is mine, and mine alone. And we're back in the present, so... It, bro, she died that easily? That's how easily you died? And you still have all this love towards Sakuna? This bitch is crazy. The one who will kill you is me. Oh yeah, she's really crazy. So we're back in the present, she's saying this, she's like creating this like huge ball sphere black sphere all right that's a perfect sphere 
Okay. It's said that it's impossible to create a truly perfect sphere. Such objects have an infinity small point of contact, therefore generating infinity pressure along its surface. A perfect sphere that is impossible to grasp. I wonder if you can handle this. All right. True unfettered love. Domain expansion. Three layers of affliction. Oh, shit. Why won't you expand your domain? Huh? You saw it, didn't you? It's impossible to grasp a perfect sphere. In this domain, that perfect sphere is guaranteed to hit. Do you understand? If I initiate my technique, you will vanish. And before she even says the word vanish, with this treasure, I summon. Oh, shit. Oh, you're fucked, bitch. Unbelievable. To think, uh, to think it destroyed a perfect sphere. Oh shit! And it just, oh yeah, you see the sphere. He just popped that shit, and the sphere just <laughs> blows up. <laughs> All right. Techniques like yours, with poor cursed energy efficiency, always tend to end up as one-trick ponies. When push comes to shove, you'll always fall back on what you're used to. It'll either be the liquid metal. Or your insect armor. I've always, I've already adapted to them. Wait, she like, he like, literally damaged her just by popping the sphere. Holy fuck, damn, my nose is itching like crazy. Oh damn, so she's on the ground bleeding, bro, in a pool of blood. Wow, didn't realize you knew me so well, says your Rosen. Makes me happy. Here's, take this. Think of it as me and always cherish it wait what what the fuck did she give him here take this all you see is her hand you don't see much i don't know what the fuck she gave him the hell think of it as me and always cherish it whoa wait who is that that we're seeing in that panel is that megumi that we're seeing because i know we're seeing that megumi deep down inside is seeing himself pretty much kill his sister so is that megumi Okay, after taking his sister Sumiki's life, Fushiguri's soul sinks into the abyss. That is Megumi. You see Megumi in the in the bottom of the abyss, just laying down. Tears falling down his eyes. Holy shit. Chapter 219 ends. That's fucking crazy. He just killed his sister, technically, in a way. And Irozu is dead again. Yo, I, I genuinely thought that Yorozu, like, people were hyping up Yorozu to be, like, top five strongest. I thought Yorozu was going to put up more of a fight. She really did it. Like, in, in many ways, this was a clear, easy, thorough defeat. Like, of course, her kickboxing, her speed, like, was kind of impressive, like, two, two chapters ago. But that, that literally lasted, like, for, like, a couple pages. And then Sukuna just kept countering her and obliterated her in the last chapter. And this chapter just easily just popped her fucking sphere and bitch bleeding out. See, and she's dead. It's over. That's crazy, bro. Sukuna is next level. All right, that was a good chapter. I, I did not, I didn't even know, like, I wasn't too certain that Sukuna was going to actually end up killing Irozu. But this just confirmed it. Like, she's completely dead. And and then Megumi's sister Sumiki, she's dead too. So that's a two in one, two in one special. Sukuna is really a fucking villain. I don't know why those motherfuckers were praying for him. Like, what the fuck is there to pray? This man is a demon. He's dying a demon. There's no coming back. All right, that's it.